I'm going on holiday soon and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting away, to doing some walking, to seeing old friends. It's a common formula, isn't it? We often say, I'm looking forward to doing something or I look forward to doing something. But it's a problem for learners. They find it easier to say, I look forward to do something. After all, we say, I hope to do something, I want to do something, I expect to do something. Why not, I look forward to do something? It's a good question. What is this, to, ing? Well, as you know, to is really two different words. And when to is a preposition, it's followed by an ing form. This doesn't only happen with look forward to. We say that we get used to doing something, or we object to doing something. There are quite a few of these. It's a tricky point to teach. The first thing is to make sure you're clear about the grammar yourself. Practical English usage has an entry on the point. It's easy to find. Just go to the index or the search box in the online edition. When you look it up, you'll find a detailed explanation and examples. That's really for teachers. For students, the Oxford English Grammar course Advanced Level gives a simpler explanation and some exercises. After students have done the exercises in the book, it's good if they can go on to more communicative practice. The Oxford English Grammar Course Teacher's Guide gives some ideas. I hope that was useful. Thank you for listening.